Right, I'm going to test you on 10 English words that are a bit unusual, but really useful for IELTS speaking. Let's see how many you know. Hello, this is Keith from the Keith Speaking Academy. So listen, how good is your English vocabulary? Well, let's find out. Today, I'm going to test you. And this is a fun way to see how many of these words you know, but also for you to learn some new words and expressions. And I've chosen these 10 words because they might be useful for your IELTS speaking, but also for your general English conversation and everyday life. This is how it works. I'm going to show you a picture of the word and then give you a few seconds to think and speak out your answer. And then I'll give you the correct answer. OK, are you ready? Let's do it. We use this for traveling and putting your clothes in mainly. There are different types. They can be hard or soft and they come in all shapes, sizes and colors. What is this? So this is a suitcase, a suitcase. When you're traveling, you take a suitcase, right? Um, very often nowadays you have wheels. You can have two wheels with that telescopic handle um, and it's a wheeled suitcase. Actually, nowadays, I think most suitcases have four wheels, what we call spinner wheels. And you can spin your suitcase round if you feel like that. OK, next one. This is one part of an item of clothing, such as a cardigan or maybe your trousers, or it can be part of a bag. We use it to open it and to close it. So what is this? So we have a zip, a zip. You can have a zip on your clothes or on a bag. It's a zip. We talk about, well, to zip up, right? Your, your grandmother, my grandmother often said, zip up your coat or zip your coat up. It's cold outside. Zip up and no, not zip down. Why? It's unzip, to unzip. To zip up, to unzip. English makes no sense at all. That's it. You could also say, do the zip up. Will you do the zip up, please? <laughs> Great. Next. We use this to open bottles of wine. It's a special device used to remove the cork from the bottle. As we know, it's very important to let the wine breathe before drinking it. So what is this? It's a corkscrew. Cork from the cork in the bottle, screw to turn in that manner, right? A corkscrew. Um, I have a few in my house, not because I drink a lot. It's because they often break, right? Some corkscrew, <laughs> some there. Some corkscrews also have this, right? Which is a bottle opener. Indeed. So you can have a corkscrew and a bottle opener, two for the price of one. Mao sin alcohol, because I'm working. Nice. This is one way of carrying and eating your delicious ice cream. It's crispy, it's crunchy, and they can usually hold one or two scoops of ice cream. So what is this? An ice cream cone. A cone is just the shape of a cone, right? It's a three-dimensional triangle. So ice cream cone is where you put the ice cream. Some people prefer a tub of ice cream. I like 
an ice cream cone because it's crispy and crunchy and delicious. This is usually made of metal or plastic. It's used to keep your keys in one place, which is really convenient so you don't lose them. But at times it can be clunky or cumbersome. What is this? It's a key ring. Two words, key ring, right? It's a key ring, so logical. It's like it's a ring shape and these are the keys. Um, you sometimes have a tab on the key ring. Sometimes the key rings are quite big and they can be very clunky or cumbersome. That means big and difficult to handle, but without a doubt, very convenient to have them all in the same place. This is a kind of jewellery that you wear usually on your wrist, but you can wear it on your ankle as well. Often made of gold or silver, but they can be made of cotton, plastic or even leather. So what is this? This one is a bracelet. A bracelet. Bracelets, they're a kind of jewellery, traditionally on the wrist, but also on the ankle maybe. To be honest, I never wear jewellery. I don't wear any kind of jewellery at all. It's just I'm not really a jewellery kind of person. But that is a bracelet. This is something we use for sleeping on. It helps us rest our head and, you know, be comfortable when in bed. You have softer ones or harder ones, and they come in all shapes and sizes. So what is this? It's a pillow. A pillow. <laughs> a pillow which helps you sleep, right? So what is the difference between a pillow and a cushion? It's very simple, right? A pillow is on your bed and it's to help you sleep. A cushion is normally on a sofa, on a chair for decoration or just to sit more comfortably. So sleeping, sitting. <laughs> Good. Next. This is most commonly used for changing the channel of your TV. You can turn up the volume or turn down the volume. We also have this device for air conditioners, thermostats and many household appliances. So what is this? It's a remote control because you're controlling the appliance remotely from a distance, right? A remote control. You can turn the volume up, turn the volume down, change, well, whatever, change channel, change temperature. I've got a remote control for my lighting here as well. Often we just call it a remote, but a remote control would be the full name. Great. This is used to connect an electrical appliance to a source of electricity so that it works. So if an electrical appliance doesn't have a battery, it needs one of these. And different countries have different kinds. What is this? This is a plug, a plug, right? Um, you have different kinds. In, in England, we have a three pin plugs as opposed to Spain, which has two pin, two pin plugs, right? And with a plug, of course, you then want to put it into the wall to connect to the electricity. So what do we do? So we've got the plug, two pin plug, and we've got the socket. So we plug in and of course we, no, don't plug out. We unplug, crazy, right? Unplug, there you go. These are similar to glasses, 
but we use them to see things that are far away. So they can be useful for when you're traveling, bird spotting, or even spying on the neighbors. <laughs> or to see better when you're at the opera. What are these? Binoculars. Binoculars. You could also say a pair of binoculars. In the same way we have a pair of glasses, a pair of binoculars. It comes from the Latin, I think, bi, meaning two, right? Like bicycle, two wheels. Hmm? Binoculars, bi, two. Um, ocular, I think from the Latin, again, oculus or ocularis, meaning eye, so two eyes. And these are great for bird watching or looking at the neighbors or spying on somebody, whatever you want to do. Great generally for traveling, to see far away. That's it. Great. Listen, I hope you liked that. Um, I wonder how many words did you get right? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure you learned something new. If you liked it, please do remember to subscribe. Oh, and if you want to practice, then you can get a list of all the words today and all the different expressions in this free PDF. Just click on the link below and you can download it for free. Nice. Listen, take care. Keep practicing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.